Good morning. Thank you for joining us for this time of prayer on the fourth Sunday in Ordinary Time. My name is Amber T and I live and work in London and belong to the Congregation of the Handmaids of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Often people think that to navigate the waters of life we need power, strength, accomplishment, acquisition. During this time of prayer we will hear Jesus telling us about the values and attitudes we need to live our lives of love and compassion. We begin by inviting God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit to be with us in a special way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us listen to the Gospel reading from St. Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who persecute for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you, persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Beatitudes are a descriptive vision of God's mind and Jesus' heart. They are kingdom values and reveal what the kingdom is like. They shape and form our lives and longings to be like God's life and longings. The temptation is to think that the Beatitudes are rules or conditions for being blessed. They are not about building up, accomplishing, or acquiring, they're about letting go, surrendering, living with a vulnerable and open heart. The Beatitudes are not so much about what we do, our actions, but about how we do our being. They are less about actions and more about relationships. To live the Beatitudes is to live a life of reckless, self-abandonment to God and our neighbour. That's called love. The only reason we can do that is because we know and trust ourselves to have been blessed by God. We live the Beatitudes as a response to God's blessing. That is the way of Christ. That is not only the way forward through life. It is the way to life. If we are to follow Christ, it must be our way. Thank you, Lord, for calling us to this time of prayer. Help us to become people who are poor in spirit, strong in faith, abounding in love, steeped in prayer, May we reach out in mercy to those around us. Enable us to be people with open hearts and open hands. May we be with those who mourn, those who are forgotten. May we celebrate all that is good. Thank you for bringing your hope and healing into every area of our lives. Help us now to carry that hope and healing and the peace of the risen Jesus to all whom we meet today.
We will close this time of prayer turning to God our Father as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. May God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit bless each of us in a special way today and every day. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.